<coughs> Senator Beam. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Honorable Senator, je prends la parole aujourd'hui. Thank you, Speaker. Honorable Senators, I rise today to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. UN Day is marked annually on October 24th, the day on which the United Nations Charter entered into force after being ratified by the majority of the signatories' domestic legislative assemblies. Canada's House of Commons did so on October 19, 1945. On June 25th of that year, the Charter passed unanimously by representatives of 50 nations who had gathered at the San Francisco Conference two months earlier. This included Canada, whose diplomats were deeply involved in drafting the Charter. We faced many challenges from war, genocide, and both peacekeeping successes and failures to internal conflicts and calls for major reforms. Now, through the vital World Health Organization, the UN is also dealing with a once-in-a-century pandemic that has killed more than one million people worldwide and greatly damaged the entire global economy. So it's not a very happy birthday, colleagues. The United Nations was created at the end of World War II to prevent more devastating conflicts and to prevent more suffering. But in its duty to maintain international peace and security, it not only works to prevent conflicts and stop them when they do happen, but also works proactively to lay the groundwork for peace. In 75 years, the UN and its various agencies and leaders have been awarded the Nobel Peace Prize 12 times, including this very year when the prize went to the World Food Program. Still, whether the UN has lived up to its lofty ideals set out in its founding document, has been up for debate pretty much from the start. On October 16, 1945, when Canada's then acting Secretary of State for External Affairs, Louis Saint Laurent, introduced the motion in the other place to adopt the Charter, he said, I do not think anyone would contend that it is an ideal document because there were so many national interests to be reconciled. Despite the compromises of the Charter and the flaws of the UN itself, especially related to the Security Council, the world needs the United Nations now more than ever. As its second Secretary General, Dag Hammarskjöld, who met his untimely end in the service of the organization, said, quote, the UN was not created to take mankind to heaven, but to save humanity from hell, unquote. While this year has been hellish for millions of people around the world, 2020 and other years would have been even worse without the UN. L'Organisation des Nations Unies n'est pas parfait. The United Nations is not perfect, colleagues, but it is the best we have. Its 193 members, including Canada, must continue to support and empower it. Thank you.